Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will see how to configure and program the FX3U 4AD card that is analog to digital convert, uh, converter that is a analog input card. So let's get started. First, I have opened this uh, manual uh, for FX3U 4AD that is 4 channel analog input. So as you can see that these are the buffer list of uh, the card. Buffer number 0 is for input mode selection for channel 1 and 4, 1 to 4 and all others are that uh, 1 is not used, buffer number 2 is average time units for channel 1 and so till 4, then the digital filters from 6 to 9, then from 10 to 13 is the value, input value. So let's see how to use this, first I will open FX3U, uh, this is FX3U blank project. So I will first insert a row. Now, uh, first of all, let me use the uh, input mode selection that we will select from here. Let's go to detail. That is buffer number zero for channel one. You can set any uh, for each of the channel. You can set any of those input modes. So let's do the programming part. M8002. That is sing, uh, first uh, scan bit. Now move instruction you can use. Now let's uh, let's make channel number one zero. That is voltage input, and then channel two again the voltage input minus ten to plus ten. Channel three current input mode and channel 4 also current input mode so I will write here H3300 and the buffer address U0 oblique G0 the buffer, amount, buffer value is 0 so this is done now let me use one more line M8000 always on flag I will use a timer T0 now value of K50 now insert one more run T0 that is the NO bit of timer now F move K10 the, that is average time value the buffered address is G2 as shown above the average time from there to here so that is 2, 3, 4, 5 for four, for next 4 uh, I will using G2, K4 that means G2, G3, G4 and G5 the value will be 10 the, this value move will move K10 will my value will move to U0 oblique G2, 3, 4 and 5 so that is the average time Now let me insert one more tongue. This is for digital filter that is from channel 1 to 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I will bypass this. I will use K0 here. That is also an initial value. So I will use uh, F move. Okay. That is K0 to U0 oblique G from 6, 7, 8, 9, right, Am I right, yes, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, now, number of values, that is 4, K4, so 0 will move to U0 oblique G6, 7, 8, and 9, that is for digital filter, now again, now let us read the value, so I will use B move, now I want to move the value of G2, Ten, G10, 11, 12 and 13 to data registers. So I will use B move. Now here D0. So the value corresponding to D uh, sorry U of U0 oblique G10 will move to D0. Then G11 will move to D1. G12 will move to G2, D2 and G13 will move to D3. So that is K4 values. So this is all you have to do 
for the <coughs> programming uh, to read the value input so there are very uh, more buffers values more buffer uh, addresses like uh, if you want to use any of the fun- any of these parameters you can use directly from here this you can you also use their status and uh, or scale status and uh, upper or low mid- lower limit values you you can also set offsets so this is all you can uh, use according to your application so if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you